Oof, it's been a while since I did one of these. It feels like it's been ages. It's probably actually been nearly a month because I did those two weeks with uh, Keith's videos. So I haven't recorded anything for three weeks. Recently, Avon tweeted about an article talking about the A spectrum, specifically demisexuality. And the title of this article was You're not demisexual, you're a normal human being. So, you can probably guess where we're going with this one. In the interest of time, I'm not going to cover the whole article in detail. One, because it would make me so furious, and two, because I can just leave a link to it in the description, like I've done, apparently. Future me did that. Crazy. Um, and then you can read it for yourself, or not, because it's horrible. It's a piece of rubbish, and I hate it. But anyway, on to the video. The author of this article starts with saying how demisexuality isn't normal, as they mentioned in the title. She's fixated a lot on this idea of normal and how society really hates normal now, so much so that we have to create these special, really specific labels in the LGBT plus community just so we can, don't have to be normal. But that's not the reason for these labels. The reason is to connect with other people and to feel happy about yourself, feel like you belong somewhere if you are maybe ostracised from the people around you, from society around you. And I personally don't think there is a normal. There is the most common thing, but that is just the mode. Not normal. Next, and this is probably the reason why I'm talking about this, because this rubs me the wrong way. I only wish I was a hedgehog then it would really hurt. At one point in the article, she's talking about the LGBT plus community, but instead of referring to it as the LGBT plus community, or even just the LGBT community, or the LGBTQIA community, LGBTQ community, there's so many different things you can call it, and they would all be fine. But instead of using one of these acronyms, she decides to go for the LGBTQI ampersand percentage dollar exclamation mark community. Now, in written communication, a bunch of random punctuation marks is normally uh, denoting swear words. And what this says in my eyes is that she believes that anything past LGBTQI isn't worth thinking about, that it's wrong in some way, that it's rude, that it's offensive. And might I note, that the most commonly quoted letter after these few is the A. Our A. The A that stands for asexual and not ally. Even if, maybe you don't believe that demisexuality is real. There is a way to voice that opinion that isn't antagonistic. Corrupting the name of the LGBT plus community is directly antagonistic and there is no need in any situation to be like that. Next she goes on to talk about how porn doesn't, uh, isn't equivalent to life and this is the one point in the article where she actually makes a tiny bit of sense. Yes, porn isn't realistic, we all know this and that's not the reason why people identify as demisexual. People who identify as demisexual can take months or years into getting to know someone before they start feeling romantic or sexual feelings, if it's demi-romantic or demisexual. Um, that is different to not wanting to have sex with a random pizza delivery person who is in shape. I don't know what happens in porn. Does that happen in porn? If anyone's watched it, tell me. No, don't tell me. There is a distinct difference between wanting to get to know someone before having sex, but still feeling sexually attracted to them, and literally not feeling the sexual attraction until you form that emotional bond with them. I know this is true for a fact, because Grindr exists because people lusting over celebrities 
exist. That happens all the time. And the most hilarious part in this article, most of it is complete and utter And yes, that is a word. I'll put the definition of it here. She says, I've lived in this world for several years now and have, during this time, hooked up with people who had not divulged their family history and blah, 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 blah. That's hypocritical. You said earlier on that demisexuality is just normal. You imply that you yourself are normal. And yet, hooking up with a random stranger is not something that someone who identifies as demisexual would do. They would probably wouldn't feel comfortable with it because they, they wouldn't be sexually attracted to this stranger, which evidently you would be. I think that's a good place to finish this video because it's quite late and I am frustrated. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. I post videos every Saturday, so if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. That is all I had to say today. Have a wonderful day, and I shall see you next time. But this is going to have to be a short one because it's Thursday. But anyway, or a porcupine. I love porcupines.